Hi, my name is Samana Mane, and I'm from Folsom, California, United States. The goal of my project was to determine if bioluminescent mushrooms could be used as a method to test toxicity of water. So I decided to focus my experiment on this because technology that can detect water toxicity is less accessible and the technology that is available focuses on certain chemicals and it's difficult to, to apply to a wider range of toxins. In my research, I found out that past studies had discovered that bioluminescent bacteria and yeast had been used as a reproducible, fast, and accurate method to detect chemicals in water. For these organisms, a change in their exposure to toxins would change their brightness, and this brightness would be visible and we would be able to measure it. Similar to the bioluminescent bacteria and yeast, I discovered that there are around 75 known species of bioluminescent fungi. In general, fungi seem like, um, seem like a reasonable group to use because of their involvement in decomposition. However, the key to finding if fungi can be an effective test to see is to see if their bioluminescence is strongly related with their exposure to the chemicals. So, in my experiment, I used the fungi P. stypticus, which is bioluminescent. I cultivated the fungi at home and to test if the fungi could detect the toxins, which were copper, atrazine, and zinc sulfate, I placed 700 microliters of each toxin into three different cuvettes. I then placed one fungi into each of the cuvettes, and at three time intervals, I vortexed each of the cuvette and measured the luminescence using a lux meter. My results were that the fungi had reacted to the toxins and the brightness had decreased when introduced. So I concluded that P. stypticus is an accurate tool to detect water toxicity. Thank you.